I'm Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and um, we have a little bit of something different to talk about today and it's a consignment shop trail that is 12 consignment shops in five miles and I have Amanda here and she's from I'm gonna let her tell you because I know I'm gonna mess the name up get it in the wrong order or something what's the name of your shop? I'm from Belly's Babies and Beyond. There it is <laughs> okay and so um, you're one of the 12 shops mm -hmm. And um, you guys have all come together and you've created this rack card uh, that lists all the shops and also has a map of where they're at. So tell us a little bit about what people might find at the different stores and um, if any of the shops do anything special or if you can tell us a little bit about it. Um, we all sell everything a little bit differently. Um, some of us, I specialize in only children's items, um, maternity clothes, that kind of thing, baby gear, toys. Um, some of the others sell women's clothing, furniture. Okay. Um, um, men's clothing, um, two, two of the shops um, benefit, um, Estate Treasures benefits hospice, okay. and our Daily Fed Thread benefits um, our Haven Ministries, the Homeless Shelter, the Food Bank. Um, so we all, but we all sell pretty much anything that you could need on a daily basis. And can people just bring stuff in or do most shops, it's by appointment only? How does that work? Yep, everybody works differently. You should give everybody a call. Um, some of us take appointments for certain things. Some of us okay. take walk-ins for certain things. Um, our daily thread and estate treasures, you can drop off donations at any time during business hours. Okay. Um, and get a tax donation sheet. Oh, wow. Okay, that's nice. Um, and and I know like uh, a couple of the shops, is it Coastal Cottage? That's, that's almost like a gift shop type place. Mm -hmm. I've been in there and they have some really nice stuff, but it's consignment. Right. She had, yeah, so yeah. it's great if you're looking for an unusual gift, mm -hmm. you want something different, just not your run-of-the-mill store you can walk in and find. And right. that's the same kind of thing with a lot of them. We get a lot of toys in that I've never seen before. I have to look them up because somebody's ordered them from a catalog. And oh, that's true. They're just something different. Um, a lot of books, if you're looking for books, most of us right. carry books. Um, so you can find books if you're into books. Right. Um, anything to just shop around and find something different. Right, and we're coming into the holiday season and of mm -hmm. course next Saturday's shop, uh, Small Business Saturday, but really anytime if you can shop local, that's that's you know a huge plus for the local economy and the businesses. Right. Um, but you can stop in and pick up these cards from any of the shops that are on here and you can also go to the visitor center mm -hmm. uh, down at Kent Narrows, the county visitor center. We have the cards on uh, in stock there. Um, and again, I know we were talking earlier, but you said a lot of times people might come to you looking for something mm -hmm. that you don't handle, but you can refer them to one of these other places and they can do the loop. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can just shop us all and see what we have. Um, you know, most of us have talked to each other. Some of us talk to each other on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So we usually know some of us have wish lists. So if something does come in, you're looking for, um, with Pinterest being so popular too oh. and repurposing. Yes. That's pretty big. So you never know what you're going to find. Okay, well wonderful. Amanda, thank you so much for coming in and telling us a little bit about our, our consignment shop trail, I call it. Um, and everybody, I hope they'll get out and visit every all the shops involved. Thank all right. you. Thank you.